Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create multi-zoom super fast transition in Premiere Pro. This effect is been used by many well-known YouTubers, and I'm sure you will love it too. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as multi-zoom, click OK. We will import our stock footage onto our project panel. Now drag it onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have this adorable cat video. We will create our multi-zoom effect in between this stock video with different video clips. Place the playhead where you want your zoom to start. I will use this time where our cat starts looking at the camera. Take the razor tool and cut it. Now place the playhead 6 frames to the right to create our zoom effect. Cut it. Take this balance footage and place it far in the right. We will bring our 6 different videos onto our sequence panel. Here we have this 6 videos and each one different from another. Multi zoom effect will give us that fast traveling in time transition by going through these 6 videos. We will create our zoom effect for this each video. Now click on this empty space and press backspace to join our videos. Since we want our zoom to be in fast and for that we will trim our each video to 10 frames exactly. Place the playhead at 10 frame duration and trim the video. Click on this empty space and press backspace to delete that empty space. Do the same to all 6 videos. Once you reached our first video, place the playhead at 5 frame duration and cut it. We will use this final 5 frame cut to create an outro for transition. We will create our zoom for each clip and don't worry it won't take much time. Go to the first cut. This clip have only 7 frame duration, because of that we will place our playhead at the second frame. Keyframe our scale and place the playhead at the end of our video. Change the scale to 250. This will give us that basic zoom effect. Now place the playhead at the third frame of our first 10 frame video. Keyframe the scale. Place the playhead one frame before that video end and change the scale to 250. We have to create this zoom effect to each of our clip and to do that manually will cost us more time. To save our time we will highlight these keyframes and right click on it. Select copy. Now place the indicator at the third of the second video. Click on the effects control panel and press control V. Now we created that zoom effect in this video. Keep copy pasting these keyframes to all the 6 videos we have. Now 
Here we have our 5 frame clip from our first video. We will use this to create our zoom outro effect. Place the playhead at the first frame. Keyframe the scale. Now take that keyframe to the end. Again change the scale to 250. You can increase the size as much as you want. It's your choice. This will give us that zoom out effect to finish this transition smoothly. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks super good. And here we have our outro done smoothly. We now created that basic multi-zoom effect and it looks amazing. We will add some effects to make it more dynamic. Click on this new item icon and select adjustment layer. We will use the default settings, click OK. Take that adjustment and place it on our video. Trim the adjustment layer as per our video frames. Now we will add some blur effect to make our zoom look transitioning in super fast. In the effects panel, type in directional blur. Take it and place it on our adjustment layer. Go to effects control, make sure the playhead is at the start. Now keyframe both direction and blur length. Move the playhead one frame to the right. Increase both the direction and blur. Decrease the blur a little. This will give us that sudden shift in transition effect. Now place the playhead one frame before the end. Click on this add keyframe icon to add that same keyframe from before. Place the indicator at the end and change the direction and blur to zero. This will give us that sudden blur transition and at the end it comes back to normal. We will use this blur effect to all of our video clips. For that hold alt on your keyboard and drag this adjustment layer to the right to duplicate it. Place it on top of our second video. Now keep duplicating it and place it on all of our video. We will trim our adjustment layer for our first and last video clip. Move the keyframes to where our video ends and trim it. Again trim it to match a video. Move these keyframe to the left since we don't have a lot of frames on this video. Now select all the video clips and right click on it. Select nest. I will name it as zoom transition. Click OK. We will increase the zoom speed a little to make it look super fast. Right click on the zoom layer and select speed duration. I will increase the speed to 115%, click OK. Click on this empty space and press backspace to join our videos. Now let's play it and see the final result. That looks super awesome. We now created that multi-zoom fast transition and it looks amazing. Our outro looks super good. It finished our transition perfectly. We can add one more effect to make it more subtle. Double click on the nest layer. Go to effects control and type in cross dissolve. Take it and place it at the end of our video, trim it a little. 
place it on all of our video. Now go to main sequence and play. That looks perfect. If you want this zoom effect, then look no more. I have created this zoom preset, and you can use it on your video at any time. Just a video with 10 frames cut and take the effect and place it on the video. Play it. And just like that we created our zoom effect in a second. Add this effect to different 10 frame videos to get this super fast multi zoom transition. If you want this preset along with project file and stock videos, you can go to this pay hip link in the description. You will get this super zoom preset, project file along with stock videos all for just $1. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I will say it one more time. Your support is what gives me the motivation. Please keep supporting my work. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.